Somebody said to me the other day that part of being a leader is making your ideas accessible. Thankfully, this was not a criticism of me at the time, but um, it really resonated for me in a few ways. I mean, first of all, there's the obvious sort of Einsteinism, but um, it kind of dovetails with what I was talking about the other day with respect to the combinatorics of cutting projects up and putting them in order or any sort of document or argument or message or whatever. The serialization problem is a expensive problem and, you know, making your ideas accessible uh, turns out to actually be a non-trivial job. And so a major impediment to making your ideas accessible, I think, is just not fully understanding them yourself. And the way that you can tell is if you're using all sorts of made-up terminology or esoteric language that is really precise because you've gone out and you've like found the language to try to pick apart fine details that actually matter to you or they may matter or they may not. And the sort of a mastery of a concept really reduces to the being able to tell the difference between sort of what aspects of a concept are essential versus the ones, the details that just don't matter when you're trying to communicate to somebody. And so when, you know, it's sort of like the, uh, you know, the, the Jedi slash uh, um, midwit slash, you know, brainlet meme where the, it's got the bell curve in the middle where, you know, it's like, oh, it's just X. And the guy's like in the middle is freaking out. No, there's all these details. And then the other guy, the Jedi guy is like, no, it's just, it's just X, whatever it is, whatever X is. And, um, it also reminds me, I think what sort of put me on to the whole sort of combinatorics thing, I mean, besides Alexander's notes on the synthesis of form, is um, the chapter eight of Hutchins' Cognition in the Wild, where he describes intracranial versus intercranial communication and depicts the interaction between two crew members his sort of anthropological subjects the crew members of the navigation team of an aircraft carrier and they're trying to complete a task and it's like incredibly simple they're just trying to divide the, the labor of doing some very basic arithmetic and it takes them i can't remember what it was it's like 32 tries or 39 tries or something like that to to, to settle into a regime um, amazing book, really kind of interesting, uh, really interesting stuff there. But he's sort of um, how, you know, something that can be as intuitive, like literally intuitive as a, as, a, as a feeling, when you're trying to translate that into symbols, into words, and into other kinds of representations that, you know, that are some sort of artifact that you can convey to another human being. Uh, takes the bandwidth down several orders of magnitude. And the question is, well, how do you do that? And the answer is, it's actually not trivial. So it's kind of like when somebody's like, oh, well, you just have to make your ideas accessible. Or, oh, you just have to prioritize. Um, that's actually difficult work. That's like not insignificant. And it might be actually like part, like the biggest part of the job. Um, anyway, gonna finish my coffee.